What's going on Unbox Nation? Hope you guys are doing great as always. In today's video, we will be unboxing and reviewing Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Together, we will review everything you need to know about S20 Ultra like design or build quality, display, cameras, battery life and much more. Now let's take a look what the S20 Ultra box has in store for us. So first we have device which is S20 Ultra itself and clear cover protective film, 25 watt travel adapter, USB-C 2.0 data slash charging cable, earphones sound by AKG. And there is also ejection pin and quick start guide. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra is made of Gorilla Glass 6 on both sides with a metal mid frame holding everything together, which is visible all around the phone. The Galaxy S20 Ultra still retains a minor curve on the right and left edges of the display just like Samsung Galaxy S10, which should improve handling and minimize unwanted touch input from the edges, however proves to be otherwise. Galaxy S20 Ultra has a beautiful 6.9 inch Quad HD Dynamic AMOLED Infinity O display with 3200 by 1440 resolution and 120 hertz refresh rate. It is bright, vibrant and truly looks magical. It's only smaller by an inch or so than the smallest tablet display and is perfect for everyday use like reading, answering emails, watching videos and smashing that like button while watching watching them. On top of the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra display, we have a centered punch hole cut out for the 40 megapixel selfie camera, which some people hate. I personally think it's better than a bezel like on an iPhone. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Despite the 40 megapixel sensor, it uses pixel binding to output 10 megapixels images, meaning it uses 4 pixels and combines it into one, which should translate into overall better picture if it works as Samsung intended. Right above that, S20 Ultra has the earpiece where the display glass meets the frame and there's a port on the top to vent air and improve low frequency response. Another thing built into the display is the fingerprint reader. It's the same ultrasonic type that Samsung fits on its previous flagship. It's not quick or accurate as you want it to be. You will often have issues unlocking your S20 Ultra to the point where you might just stop using it and use face unlock instead. On the bottom, Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra has a main loudspeaker which has surround sound with Dolby Atmos technology, USB-C port and a primary microphone. The SIM card slot slash SD card slot is located on the top left corner. The power button and its volume rocker on the S20 Ultra Ultra is located on the right and the left side is clear of any buttons or compartments. The hefty camera bump is located on the back of the Galaxy S20 Ultra and takes a lot of space, which makes it hard not to notice. But if you slap a case on it, it should even things out a little. S20 Ultra comes with 12 megapixels ultra wide camera, 108 megapixels wide angle camera, 48 megapixels telephoto camera with 100 times space zoom which is definitely an overkill for an average consumer. Guys, do you know that up to 80% of people that's watching videos on YouTube are not subscribed to the channels whose video they watch? And in case of smaller channels like mine, over 90% of audience is not subscribed. I know it might not seem like much, but it creates a lot of opportunities for the unbox the box to make new videos for you guys. If you made it this far in the video and it has been helpful so far, please do not forget to click that subscribe button and if you'd like to support the channel please check out the links in the description below. Inside the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra runs a 7 nanometer Snapdragon 865 processor in United States and rest of the world uses Samsung Exynos 990 processor also known as the Exynos 9830 
for S20 Ultra. You have an option to go with 12 gigabytes RAM or 16 gigabytes with memory size of 128 gigabytes or up to 512 gigabytes, which should help you remember to smash that like button. And if you don't, you can also expand your memory up to one terabyte with a micro SD card. Just like S20 Ultra, Snapdragon 865 is ultra fast. S20 Ultra shows single core score of 845 and 30 3105 multi-score on a Geekbench website, which comes pretty close to newly released Note 20 Ultra with Snapdragon 865, which has 954 single score and a 3144 multi-core score, and beats the Exynos 990 version, which has 801 single core score and 2688 multi-core score. This phone is an absolute beast and has all the internals and probably a better performance of a PC from 10 years ago. Who could have imagined that such technology would be possible back then? With this being said, you will not see any stuttering while switching between apps, all apps will run smoothly and it will power through high-end apps like Photoshop, PUBG and many others with no problem. Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra comes with Android 10 and One UI 2.0 out of the box, which includes dark mode, one hand friendly layout and quick share, which is Samsung's airdrop basically, which I think is a pretty useful feature considering how fast you can share your files on the go. What do you think? Do you think quick share is useful? Please comment down in the comment section below. In August, Samsung released One UI 2.5, which improved Pro Video mode with the ability to record 21 to 9 aspect ratio, change the direction of your phone's mic, and has wireless DAX mode. Galaxy S20 Ultra has a 5000 mAh battery capacity. Despite the fact that 5G does have its impact on S20 Ultra, it will last approximately 12 hours if you're not using 120Hz refresh rate, and around 9 hours if you do have 120Hz refresh rate constantly on, which should be more than enough time for you to smash that like button. However, the battery times may vary depending on how you use your Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Considering the beautiful Quad HD display, powerful Snapdragon processor and a versatile camera, the S20 Ultra has great battery life in my opinion. Samsung S20 Ultra also supports fast charging and you can get approximately 30% of charge in 15 minutes. 60% in 30 minutes using the 25 watt charger. Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G dimensions are 166.9 millimeters or 6.5 inches tall by 76 millimeters or 2.99 inches wide and 8.8 .8 millimeters or 0.34 inches in depth, which weighs 220 grams or 7.7 .7 ounces. Some may say that it is a a large brick that could do some serious damage if used in self-defense, which to some might be a plus, but to others might not be. So I'll leave it up to you guys to comment down below and let us know what you think about the size of Galaxy S20 Ultra. But considering the fact that it has 5000 mAh battery, powerful PC-like performance and sizable rear camera bump on top of that, it is decently sized phone that could still fit into your pocket, which unfortunately comes just in two colors, cosmic gray and cosmic black. Now comes the final question guys. Is it still worth your money one year later after its release? I think the answer to that is absolutely, especially considering the fact that after release of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, the price of S20 Ultra went down. But Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra has larger battery, 40 megapixels front camera, has the same beautiful 6.9 inch display with 120 hertz refresh rate, just like Note 20 Ultra, and beastly Snapdragon 8. 865. You can find the S20 Ultra to be anywhere between high $800 to $1000, when Note 20 Ultra is anywhere between $1300 to $1500. Thank you very much for watching my video about Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra guys. If you found this video helpful or just enjoyed it anyway, please hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm to push our video to the top so we can be helpful to many other viewers interested 
interested in this device. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe because it's free. YouTube doesn't charge any money for that, but it helps unbox the box to get more opportunities to get new tech for you guys. And don't forget to smash the bell button to be notified for future awesome, helpful content. And remember guys, it does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. So never give up and keep pushing forward.